Hi, and welcome to Big Shopped, the show where I cook food using nothing but weaponry. Big Chopped. Today on Big Chopped, we're making a hamburger. Here we have our ingredients. Buns, hamburger, avocado, tomato, egg, and on onion. <laughs> Step one, sanitization. Now we're in a kitchen that is made of filth. So what we're mostly gonna be focusing on is weapon sanitation. Sanitization. Make sure that's the counter. You sanitize your weapon. See all that gunk? That doesn't taste good. Not good for a burger. What we gotta do is take your sludge hammer, turn on water from a bath, shower, or some sort of hose. So go ahead and turn the shower on and apply it to the water and just kind of spin it like some sort of teeter-totter. And you might see a little bit out, but turn some cold water on here. And just go ahead and just rub the gunk up. No soap needed. Hands are the original soap. Good as new. Big chops. I'm cutting the tomato in, in food fashion. Now what I have here to do that is a machete. We're gonna, we're gonna cut it for the burger. Go ahead, get nice and nice and in there. It's, it's, it's a squishy tomato. There we go. Look at that. All tomato. A lot of people think you gotta they cut the tomato thinly, you know, like some sort of bougie person. But you, the ketchup, this is how a lot of people make ketchup in third world countries. And they, they, don't, they don't talk about that. My most lethal axe. And what I'm going to be doing is going to be chopping the onion for edible pieces. The onion was invented in the 1700s to make happy people cry. And you chop it like that. See, that's a good, see, you just take the skin, oh, there's some mold there. You want to kind of fashion the axe, just chop it. See, we got rid of most, most, oh, there's a lot of mold here. Take another swing, and it's just, just, ah, oh, shit, I broke the board. Look at that. Look at, look at how fresh that is. Delicious. The avocado. The, this evolves into guacamole. A ceremonial seppuku knife. This was invented to kill yourself with. With sharp pointy to the belly. This is how I like the pit, is you just... This is... Right like that, like cro... Ah. Crocod... Cro Really get that in that bitch. Pull out the, you can also pop it out via nutcracker method and just go ahead and get that out there. And we're just gonna just scoop, scoop pieces out. A knife is just a spoon with no, with no, uh, with no home. Be because, you know, the knife, knife is straight. The spoon has a little tub in the middle for holding things. The knife isn't meant for holding. The knife is, is the, the, the lonely man of cutlery. That's gonna go grab that burger. Oh yeah. Mmm. Primavera. We have here a hamburger patty. We also have here a medieval battle axe. Different than the other... Oh, I haven't used that other weapon yet. Have I used the other weapon? I have not used the other weapon. Is uh, as well for beheadings. This is also good for spatulating. And get that burger. Oh, look, the avocado is like a support beam. Now you're gonna take the burger. Be very, very gentle. Now watch out for your other sword approaching the pan. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the the wrist. The wrist is very important to. <laughs> to play. Voila! It's important to know not to throw the burger at the tea kettle while prepping the sandwich. You also want to use Pam. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use your hand for this part. And then just spray it. Like so. We're going to wait a few minutes before we flip this burger. Just going to slide it around like like a hot wheel. We're cooking with fire. Now, when it comes to flipping burgers, I like variety. And one of my favorite weapons, the broadsword. 
Now what, what this is, is, it's, it's, see movies, these, they use a lot of special effects. If I was hunting orcs, I'd be dead. This was a replica of the Lord of the Rings, Aragorn, the, the Viggo, Viggo, Viggo Moorman sin. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. See that? The blade is your guidance. And then wrist. Step 13. Food seven. Now you may have noticed this handy thing. I bought this after I saw a murder. What could I use this trusty thing for? This next segment is called Big Finesse. Sorry, take that again. Big Finesse. Now here's the trick. You don't want to do a big swingy motion. I know you're gonna want to, but that's more for cutting down trees. Just crack it gently. Just That was a, the example of what not to do. You hit it with more aggression than that, but not in an evil way. Ooh, baby! And you let the just droopings pour out there, and just, ah, oh, look at, look at that. A perfectly cracked egg. But, oh, wrong, wrong oven. Big cracked! Step 36. What I have here is a cavalier saber used in medieval times to hunt hunt Christians. This is uh Oh first chopping the burger. Go ahead and bet Oh wow, am I good or fucking what? We're gonna start with the actual patty. Patty. I hardly know her. Look at that steam. Zest flowing through you. Go straight for the stab. That's where the heart is. With the blade, and stab, boom. We'll get that other tomato. This one we are gonna sweep. Ooh, good sweep. The, the avocado, which is actually Roman for green fruit. You're gonna wanna stab or sweep based on the shape of the hunk. If you screw up the first stab, you're gonna have to sweep. So we got one more chance here to get the sta stab before we have to, see now we have to sweep. And sweep that on there. Boom. Oh yeah, baby. So get that, get that avocado. Some people don't understand what goes into being a chef. And they're seeing right now, truly, how challenging it is when you're trying to stay true to your art form. We can see the flavor of being absorbed by the avocado becoming browner. It's because it's becoming older. Wow, no hands. Next comes the onion. And we're gonna go chopstick style. Oh boy, onion. Big problem is where I have to hold one hand compared to the other hand, as opposed to traditional chopstick, which is usually held in just one hand. Used to eat sushi, and in competitive situations, M&Ms. I was going the, ah, you're dead, hand position. Go with, ah, you are, make sure to get cobwebs out before you start this. All right, we're gonna move to the egg now. Egg here is the most flamboyant of the foods. I'm not sure what that means though. Wow. Red Robin, yum. It's the home stretch, folks. Stab the, the both sides of the butt and then just go ahead and then gently wait for gravity to assist you. tra -la! Wow! What a juicy hunk of sandwich. And now you're good for eating. That is uh, the tomato umbilical cord. That one was mostly tomato. Let's try another side. Oh yeah! Mmm! A little bit of shell, but overall I haven't eaten beef in years, so this is good. I was vegetarian before this, and here's the thing, the sacrifice that goes into making this sandwich, I'm gonna eat it. Even though I, I, I have not eaten beef in a, in a while. 